Thank you for your comments. This is a good question, um, but I think it also misses the point a little bit. Every story that is told in segments relies on the audience or perceived audience having a context for that world. In regard to some non-Trek examples, um, the Rings of Power that came out last fall relies on the fact that the audience is in some way familiar with the books and the movies, most likely. Star Wars. There's a lot of movies, a lot of TV shows, there's comics, and there's um, literature. There are books that came out as well. At any point you enter that story, there's an assumed expectation that you have some familiarity or interest. I think it's very layered and we have seen a fair amount of world building in each series and there are books and comics spanning at least half if not longer the length of the franchise. So let's say someone reads one of the Spock books that came out 30 years ago. They have some relative foundation um, to the Star Trek ideology. If they're a newer Trekkie and they've only seen um, the Kelvin timeline, the assumption that either someone watching that knows what the original series is or they're at the very minimum interested in sci-fi has a concept of the world. And from there, like an anthology, you can branch out in any direction to fill in the gaps. I think the, the best thing about Star Trek is it's not a linear story, although it can be. You can watch them in order chronologically, or you can pick and choose where you want to go from there. So no, I, I don't think that they're relying on the world building as a detriment. I think that that's just the nature of multi-part storytelling.